pass across. It's blocked by Jalen Lipen. Rockford wins the puck back in the defensive zone. Tepley hits Lipen. Three on two up the ice for Rockford. Lipen to the far side. Sini shoots. Rebound loose oh. for Tepley. He couldn't pull the trigger. Wide open. Strand. He buries it. Austin Strand lights the lamp for Rockford and gives the Hogs a 1-0 lead with 21 seconds left here in the first. What a shot by Strand. That's a good Alberta boy right there. It's, uh, it's my road roomie, so I'm, uh, I'm happy for him that he can, he can talk one tonight. It looked like Michael Tepley had a wide open opportunity at the side of the net. It came back to Strand. He made no mistake about that one. Austin Strand gets his second goal of the year and his first as an ice hog to give the Hogs a 1-0 lead in this game. That was actually great. Uh, that was a great play by Tepley. I thought he was just going to turn and fire that one and saw Strander. There as well. So they're back in states that they're familiar with. This is Jared McIsaac with a slap shot that's blocked in front. Rebound loose and they score. Dominic Shine scores on the rebound and we're tied. Yeah, kind of a kind of a shot off, off one of the Hogs players, and that's just smart smart play going to the net if you're Shiner and get, gets rewarded with that one. But Shine picks up his fifth goal of the year. It came after the slap shot from McIsaac, just a bouncing puck found the back door, and there's nothing that Camesso could have done after that deflection, and it was a pretty easy tap in for Shine and the 30-year-old from Detroit has tied this game at. In front of him, Bjork. And then along the goal line, this is Soderblom. Bergen once again creeping down to the corner, all the way across to Arnick. Tapped in, they score! <laughs> 8.58 left here in the third, and Tim Gettinger knocks in the pass from Austin Zarnick. Gettinger gets his ninth goal of the year. It was quick puck movement from the near side over to the far dot where Zarnik snapped it towards the front of the net and Gettinger was able to angle it in to the open cage and give Grand Rapids their first lead of the weekend. Five minutes left here in the third and penalty time is all but over. Les Ferrance comes out of the box. Rockford is 0 for 3 on the power play here tonight. So back to 5 on 5 at a 2-1 game. Lipen scoots in down the wing. Back door, wow. they score! Sini off the setup from Lipen, and wow. we are tied at two. What a pass by Luffy. Such a good effort by him flying down the wall. Good finish by Sini there, too. Let's take a look at this replay. Lipen hops around to check at the blue line, takes it down to the corner, fires it across, and Sini buries it right past the sprawling Hutchinson to lock us up once again with 4.43 left here in the third. It's a great, uh, great kind of pick by Mina Tepley. His course of action and walks it back out to the center blue. Gust starts to make his way towards the net. Gust looking back door, they what score! Play. How about that one from Gusty and Bjork? Ice Hogs win in overtime. <laughs> Anders Bjork, the OT winner, set up by David Gust. And the Hogs are headed home with two wins here in Michigan. Let's go.